classic right. South World Cinema film. Oh, always the master with Mark and the projection room. It's a classic Keith Wilton film. This is the master. He has golden fingers. As you can see, he, he goes through it. With the speed of light and a cloud of dust. I see now where I went wrong. This man is a genius. I'm now progressing to the gate. Over there. This is the sound heard. I'm in mid flow. That goes. Up there. I've got that on there, so I've got to do that. Lift that one up. Drop the film in there. Oh! But I've got to make that. Do that one. Here we have Marcus O on the cinema in Maplethorpe. He is old school projectionist, well, if you call old school in 1918. Um, he's just let me lace up one of his projectors. Good old Marcus. Now, one of the things I noticed, it has a slow runner. So if you were screwing changeovers, what, what number of the reader would you have in the game? Six. Right? Six. So they do it on six? Yep. Okay. Um, you, you swear by film, don't you? I swear at film and by film. Eh? I like film. Yeah, I think film is a legitimate format. It still is used heavily in the production of certain industry product. And what difference has it made to you converting the cinema over to digital? It's easier in some respects in that it can be, uh, it's less manual work, you don't have to make up the prints, it's a lot easier, you don't have to lift and you don't have to carry prints, and the quality remains the same through the entire run. The downside is that it's not an analogue format, so if it breaks down, and this has been well documented, it, you've lost it, you will have to get engineers in. So the, the problem is, you will have a lot more films lost, film shows lost, it went up about... 20 times since digital have come in, a lot more films have been lost, a lot more screens have had to be changed over, but apart from that, no, it's a, it's a different thing. It's like your CD player, your DVD player, or your record player. It's an old analogue system. What about idiots like me who packed up collecting film and all the digital? Quite right, it's a lot easier. The only reason to collect film, which you can buy off eBay and places like that, is basically nostalgia and the whole feel. A bit like an old steam engine or a... Uh, I mean, a steam engine isn't much good for commuting, but it's a good for a bit of fun and to uh, relive the nostalgic times. That's basically the use of film. A lot of hipsters getting into it now, uh, getting into the old style of it, but it really is. It's a thing of the past and should be looked as a thing of the past to run on 16 or 35 millimeter or even Super 8, which God knows was never that good. That was never going to be mass media. And uh, yeah, it, 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 was, it was a thing of the past, which is from my youth and was an important part of my youth.
My name is Dave Carnegie, I'm 77 years old and I'm very grateful that Marcus Earl, owner of a lovely cinema in Mablethorpe, allowed me to come down and lace up one of his projectors as part of my bucket list. As projectors, not quite the same as we had in the cinemas in the 50s, but it was a good experience and brought back memories of shining the light into the darkness to entertain 17, 1800 people watching the screen. If you had it all over again, Dave, would you have done the same thing? And if you knew what you know now, what would you have done? Um, to be honest, I'm I wouldn't have changed the projection of stuff. Uh, I, at Viz News, I wouldn't have done the silly things that I did there, but it led me into other things, which ended up with me going around the world to see in it. Um, I would never go to Fiji in New Zealand and been paid to go there. Uh, film has led me into some very strange places. I found that when digital come in, like I said to you, Marcus, when I saw my first digital film here, how much better it looked and how, how pure the, the light was and how even the light was. Um, I'm glad I've seen it. I'm glad I've been able to adapt. Um, I did enjoy having a Super 8 collection, but I don't think I'd want it nowadays. I, I prefer collecting it on Blu-ray and stuff like that. Just because the quality is so much better and I can go back and get films from the silent era and the 30s which have been digitally restored and look like they were shown as they were shown in the cinema at the time. And that to me is a satisfying experience, especially when you see films like King of Jazz, Metropolis, Gone with the Wind and Robin Hood. So you would say the ones you've just listed are probably your favourite films? Pardon? The ones you've just said, for Robin Hood and that, are your uh, Actually, the four-sided triangle I quite like. That's a, that's a very old um, Hammer film. I don't like the modern films because they're all crash brain wallet and don't have a story as such. You know, I was watching some stuff on Amazon recently and all it was was, a, was the, art, the star wondering about the different locations. And uh, what can I say? It, it, it didn't it didn't flow, it was just a running around film. And all the computer graphics and stuff like that don't really work. The, the up, a couple of years ago I ran Land of the Pharaohs on digital and also Cleopatra and realising that all those people on horseback and things like that were actually there and it looks so much better than seeing computerly generated stuff, even you know, by modern standards, knowing that, that things that people were there. I know they cheated a bit on uh, Ben Hur using dummies in the, in the seat rows, but it was still real photography. I'd like to, well, I'd like to make a, a couple of short films. At home, I've got, I've got an Apple computer and resolve on it and this camera i've got two of the cameras which we're using now um, i'm surprised at the quality much superior than the 16 mils we used to get and i'd like to do a couple of free movement films you know, there's a, a, a an old hymn I, the Lord of the Dance, which I'd like to make a video of that. For somebody, for somebody using free expression to it. And another one is Be Thou My Vision. 16 millimeter. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Super 8? Oh, about 400. How, how, how pink are they? 
Uh, most of them are beautiful colour, apart from the ones that aren't. <laughs>